Hey everybody, it's Nate from Explorers.Life. I teach people how to build DIY campers, and in this video, I am going to teach you how to wire solar panels in parallel. This video is episode number eight in a series of video where I'm teaching you all of the basic electrical skills you'll need to tackle the next electrical project in your camper. Now we've already talked about how to make MC4 connectors and how to check voltages using a multimeter in a previous video, which are prerequisites for this video. So if you haven't already seen that, uh, you should probably check that out and I'll leave links to that video in the description below. Now, last thing before we get started, this video is not going to cover what effect wiring in parallel has on the panels. This is not a theory or concepts based video. I'll cover that in a future video, so perhaps subscribe if you aren't already, but this video is going to be a hands-on practical application of how to actually do the wiring to wire the panels in parallel. That said, let's get started. Now wiring solar panels in parallel is just a matter of connecting multiple solar panels together by connecting the positive wires together and the negative wires together into a single pair of positive and negative wires to take to the charge controller. Now right over here I have two solar panels from Rich Solar and I'm going to use them as an example. First I want to use my multimeter to double check and make 100% sure that I know which wire is positive and which wire is negative. Now if you feel like you'll forget which is which, feel free to put a little piece of red tape or something on the positive wires. The male MC4 connector is generally the positive one, but it's always a good idea to check. Now that we know which wires are positive and which wires are negative, it's time to connect some wires. But first, it's important to cover your solar panel with cardboard or something so you aren't working with live voltage. Now I can take all of my positive wires from the solar panels and combine them together with a 2 to 1 MC4 branch connector. Next, I can do the same thing on the negative side. Now that both of the panels have been effectively wired in parallel, I can connect a positive and negative wire with an MC4 connector on each end to the branch connectors. And these two wires would go down through the roof to the solar charge controller. Now, what happens if we have three solar panels? Same story to start. Double check which wires are positive, and which wires are negative, and then cover up the panels. This time we want to use three to one MC4 branch connectors, but this time, uh, depending on the size of the panels, there's a pretty good chance that we're actually going to need to introduce fuses into the system. And to do that, I have these MC4 fuses. I'm going to attach a fuse to each of the positive solar panel wires and attach the fuse to the branch connector. All the negative wires get connected to the negative three to one MC4 connector. And then these two three to one branch connectors get connected to the positive and negative wires going to the charge controller. Now with four panels, there's nothing different except that we're going to use a four to one branch connector. And if at any point um, your solar panel wires don't reach the branch connector, it's totally fine to make an extender cable like this with a male MC4 connector on one end and a female MC4 connector on the other end. Now I know this video is going to spark some questions about when to use fuses versus when to not use fuses, but that's going to be a conversation for a totally different video. This video is only about how to actually do the physical wiring, so be sure you're subscribed to be notified when that video comes out, and once it is live, I will link to it in the description below. And that's all there is to wiring solar panels in parallel. Next week, I'm going to teach you how to wire solar panels in a series parallel configuration. Now I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, it'd be awesome if you would share it with somebody or a group who you think could benefit from it and leave the video a thumbs up. Drop any questions you've got in the comment section below. Subscribe if you want to see more DIY camper building tutorials and I will see you in the next video.